Trigger warning, this video contains feet and callus removal. You have been warned. A different kind of toe maintenance today. This is my son's toes when we removed all of the skin off his feet recently. And it went rather well, even though he was a bit um, extra sensitive and therefore ticklish due to the urea soak that we did. Um, the toes weren't too bad. There's one point, I think on his other foot, where he does get quite wiggly. But otherwise, he just hung in there and... The skin on his toes was so thick that it really, um, I don't think he could feel through it at all until I started to clip it down a little bit. And I was a little reserved when I started working on the toes because I couldn't tell how thick they really were and I didn't want to go too low, obviously, but I also didn't want to tickle him. So I was just like treading very lightly when I started, but then I sort of realized, oh my gosh, these toes are extremely thick and I can just take off a lot more than I thought I could. And so that I, you can see me sort of grow in confidence as I go along here. Something I have been meaning to do, but we haven't got to it yet out of just timing constraints or out of not getting around to it because life is so full of other things is doing more regular maintenance on his feet in between shaves. In my mind, he's still like four years old and that fussy little kid who is not willing to sit there for a half an hour for me to work on his skin. But I need to let go of that because he recently turned seven excuse me, he recently turned seven and he is a lot more patient and a lot more curious. He's shown a lot more interest in the tools and a lot more interest in maintaining his skin. Just for example, like um, six months ago, especially a year ago, I would have to, you know, make him quote unquote, like sit still for five minutes to sh to lotion his hands in the morning and in the evening. And that's about all he would do. And otherwise he's just like, they're dry, it's fine, whatever, I don't care, bye mom. And nowadays he's asking me more frequently, like, oh, let me lotion my hands. Can you help me lotion my feet? You know, he's remembering, I wanna lotion my hands before bed or I wanna lotion my hands before I go off to school. And I think this is great progress. It shows a self-awareness and a self-care tendency that he just didn't have before when he was so little. And so in that vein, Moving forward, I would like to start doing more regular maintenance on his feet. I mean, the reason that we let them grow out as long as we do is just because he has not wanted to do any more than that. And I haven't wanted to like force him into doing it. I never wanted to turn the skin maintenance into like a negative experience that he would avoid. And so as a result, I really let him take the lead and give him a lot of autonomy and allow him to just decide if this is how he wants to spend his time. Um, and when he's ready, I will do it for him pretty much regardless of what's on the schedule. I will make it work as soon as possible. Um, but I feel like it's time to start pushing him a little more, start pushing him toward, um, doing toe maintenance in between shaves, maybe doing crack maintenance as necessary. We do clip off the frays along the edge of his feet when they come up and um, occasionally clip around a crack if it's really bad. But there is so much more I could be doing to like keep his toes and the edges comfortable in the meantime. Of course, I could also do more regular rasping or filing or scraping after baths. And I think that may also be something that starts to fall into our regular routine. And I'm not sure how much of it I will film, but I'll tell you guys about it when it happens. So here I am just working at his toes. They were really, really, really quite thick. And I can't believe like how big some of these chunks are. But even after getting like the really huge chunks off, I was able to come back over and get even more. So that just goes to show that they were way thicker than they really should be. I would never let my toes get this thick. I've also had questions, why do I not clip the skin beneath the toes, and, like between the toes and the foot? And the answer is that that skin, although it looks rather thick, it really isn't. And um, it's like right next to this actual skin that's under there that would be really painful if it got clipped. And like once or twice in the past, I have tried to go in and clip that skin even delicately and he has immediately complained that it's too painful. So we're working on it. Um, on my own toes, I keep the that skin clipped so low that it never cracks. And I I can tell, I just have like memorized on my feet where is too thick and where is thinner and where I can like clip and where I can't. But on his feet, I really have no idea. And because I've hurt him before, I just like stay away. If he, if it's growing out like past his toe, then I know that I could 
remove it and at least a little bit but like where here where it's tucked in under his toes and not very long it just doesn't grow very long there to begin with maybe in one spot and I'll clip that little spot off but the rest I'll just leave so that's how it is now the aftercare for shaving feet is just lots of moisturization and the right kind this skin, when it becomes very thin, can become extremely brittle. It's important to keep it moisturized. It's also important not to make it too thin, and that is the delicate balance because too thin and it will crack all the time and it will cause more problems than good. So the theory that I work with is that it should be thin but not too thin, and then it just remains comfortable and functional all the time and we don't have to suffer through cracks or hypersensitivity. Afterwards, I am still absolutely loving this Foot Logics Very Dry Skin Mousse. It soaks very deep in with urea and it makes the moisture stay deeper in the feet. And then my go-to favorite is that St. Ives Body Lotion. It's just perfect for this skin in my opinion.